Good morning and welcome to Paulton's Park where I'm here with Charlotte. Are you excited to be back? Yes, I haven't been for about two years. In about two years since Charlotte was last here. It's one of our favourite parks in the UK. This place is amazing. Of course, it is also the home of Peppa Pig World. Uh, after they opened that, of course, Lost Kingdom opened with some brilliant rides. Uh, three different roller coasters in there. Two of them were brand new at the time from Vacoma. And this place is expanding rapidly. It really is exciting. Uh, me and Alex came last year when we came to see the expansion to Peppa Pig World. Of course, they put in two new rides. One of them a nice Mack rides, uh, boat ride, and another one, which is like a, a, a monorail style ride that runs around the area. Um, like the Queen's Coach Ride, something like that it's called. I can't quite remember, uh, but I really liked it. I thought the new additions were great. So Charlotte will get to see them today. And also the main entrance plaza here, which is very quiet at the moment, we're quite early. Uh, has had a bit of an upgrade for 2019. As you can see from that just behind us, Charlotte's actually the same color as the, uh, as the sign. sign. Look at that. It looks like it sticks out, doesn't it, on, on footage, which is crazy. So yeah, really, really nice sign what they've put in here. Uh, but don't worry for fans of the wonderful fountain, uh, the tree fountain just behind me, it is still here. I've always loved that since we redid the entrance. That's one of my favorites. But yeah, that has stayed as well. Of course, here at Portland's Park, you are allowed to use chest-mounted GoPros on their rides and uh, film on all the attractions. So we've got lots and lots of on-ride footage uh, here from Portland's Park today for our first visit of the 2019 season. Let's go. Here we are then. So the park is open and we've made it inside. Great to be back here in Portland's Park. Honestly, in terms of the landscaping here, I've said it in every vlog, but it's got some of the nicest landscaping ever in a park. All the trees and all the hedges and everything. It's cut perfectly, isn't it? So yeah. nice it looks after. It looks very, very fresh. It does look fresh. And we've got a bit of a change up ahead for this year, haven't we? Come and show us, Charlotte, in your yellow fisherman coat. And hopefully the sun's going to stay out. We were really hoping for it. It said that, you know, it didn't say it was going to rain, but a bit cloudy today so hopefully it's gonna be nice. We've got this lovely new board. New for 2019. Look how nice it is. Look at this. I mean it looks very similar to the ones that they put in at Europa Park a couple of years ago with the clock at the top, obviously the screens all on the side, queue times which I like the look of at the moment, yes. all them zero minutes. <laughs> uh, but how nice is that? Really nice. And, and all this path as well that's been redone. I think what they've done here is of course preparing ready for a huge new investment coming next year 2020 and we'll talk more about that later on as it's down the other end of the park but uh, it sounds very exciting so we'll talk more about it later on uh, but all of this round here is just preparing for the numbers really and just increasing the flow of the park uh, you know all these paths it's opened it up really nice before really you'd go straight down the other side of the nicely pruned hedge just here to get down towards Cobra, Magma and Lost Kingdom Obviously, a couple of years ago, they put in the nice little garden area just over there. And it's just opened it up really nice as well. So, uh, yeah, we're going to head down towards Lost Kingdom first. Yay! And don't worry, we're going to get Charlotte on George's Dinosaur Ride. We're going to do it, no matter what the queue is today. This is your third time coming to Fulton's Park. I need to ride. We're going to get you on it. Yes. But, uh, yeah, let's head down towards Lost Kingdom. We yeah, are loving these improvements. And also, they put permanent lighting in around here as well. As you can see, the park might not open that much during the night at the moment, uh, other than a couple of days at Halloween, but they've really thought about that, you know, planning for the future. And I really feel like the future's bright for Portland's Park. Nice and quiet around this end of the park. The good thing is as well with here, a lot of people head straight to Peppa Pig World which means we can come and do all the uh, rides down this end. Of course, we've got three coasters inside Lost Kingdom, including Fly to the Pterosaur, nice for Coma family suspended coaster, that's got nobody on there, empty. Along with that as well, of course, we've got the uh, little junior boomerang, also from Vacoma just over here. Such a nice area, all this rock work all around, and in my opinion, it's the best themed area here in the UK. I said that since 2016 when it opened. I love it around here. It's great, yeah, you got these two coasts and then of course a little junior coaster at the back. And then we'll head over over to uh, Cobra as well. Over, over, there we are, said it twice. Oh, right, so we're going over, over on Flight of the Pterosaur. I'm just too excited, this park gets me so excited. I love it so much. Oh, we've got people here. Oh, there we are, must have been a test train. Let's go. Here we go, front row ride on Flight of the Pterosaur and Charlotte matches the colour of the seats. I love these trains, really nice family coaster this one as well. Some brilliant family attractions here. 
And up we go out the lift hill. Nice view over towards the edge. And also Cobra over there. Really nice, fun Gerslauer. Down we go, watch out for them dinosaurs. Oh no! Ah! <laughs> Lovely. Nice flight over the Lost Kingdom. All the vegetation's grown really nice around here now, all the trees. Nice intense helix now, here we go. And also the beauty about this ride, as it breaks, as it goes into the station, which is quite cool. I break. Woo. Quite a nice little feature. Love it, first ride of the day. Great front row ride there. Well worth waiting for the front on that ride. Hey, the bubble wide on YouTube. Love it. Um, but yeah, anyway, it was great. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I forgot just how good that ride is. It's so good. Great family coaster. And obviously very similar, of course, to Vampire at Chessington. And how long was the queue for that yesterday? Um, 90 minutes. 120 minutes. 120 it minutes. Fluctuated. Yeah, it did. Yeah, one minute was 90, one minute was 120. But uh, as you can see, we're making our way now. Oh, we're going to no. see some more raptors. We're in the cage. We're in the cage. We're going on Velociraptor this time. Here we go. So, uh, yeah, again, join us for a nice ride on this Vekoma family boomerang. Really nice rides these, some great family coasters here, honestly, I love it. But the best thing is you don't really have to queue up that much either, it's great. Down goes the floor, and off we go on Velociraptor. Great head choppers on this when you come back through the station, caused by the structure itself. Really like the views from on this as well, great views of the area and just the park in general. Oh, dinosaurs looking at you over there. Oh my god, look at his neck! <laughs> yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. You don't blend in with the train on this one. Yeah. Here we go. Woo! Woo -hoo! Head choppers. I love it. Bit of airtime over the station. A little pop of airtime. Obviously, the closer you are to the front on these, the further you go up the spike. Oh, yeah, there is. Getting a good view. <laughs> Back into the station again, another nice family attraction. Great ride. Here we go then. So it's coaster to coaster. We started on flight of the pterosaur, then to Velociraptor. And then now onto Dino Chase. Yes, love it. We got a few laps around on this one. Woo! -hoo! This was an existing ride in the area before they built all of Lost Kingdom. And they obviously rethemed it for all the animatronic dinosaurs. That's what makes this area. It's the rock work and the animatronic dinosaurs all the way around. And lots of great photo opportunities for the kids as well. And for big kids like me and Charlotte, of course. Woo! -hoo! Dino Chase, they are. Love it, three lap special. I'm loving the fact we've been in the park less than 20 minutes and already done three family roller coasters. It's great, honestly. And we just thought we'd have a little look around the gift shop here in Lost Kingdom and just see what they've got. So, uh, shall we have a little look around, Charlotte? Oh, what, what's she got on her head? What, what's that? What do, you, what do you mean you got nothing on your head? What, what's this? That's just my normal head. Oh, oh right, okay, fair enough. Uh, we had Danny Chase, really nice fun close to that one. Nice little, uh, little dinosaur. Oh, always oh, rubber. Hello. Rubber. Hello. Let's have a look around the gift shop. Very heavily themed here inside the shop. And like I say, it is my favourite themed area in the UK. I'm not too sure how long for there, especially with next year's plans. But uh, like I say, we'll uh, show you the construction site a little bit later on for their uh, Tornado Springs 2020 project. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> That didn't sound like a dinosaur, did it? Uh, you can get your little driving licenses in here as well from the Dinosaur Torco, which is what we're going on next whilst the area is nice and quiet. Yeah, yeah, it's well themed in here. Lots of like little bits and things that you can get. Fossil shot tooth pendants. Lots of like little things. Of course, that's the beauty of dinosaurs, isn't it? They sell lots of uh, different things. Like, oh, look at these different suits here on sale. Look at this. I don't think you fit in it, Charlotte, but look at that. Yeah. <laughs> little dinosaur outfit. Some really nice stuff on sale actually as well at the moment. Yeah, I love Outpost 12. Yeah, just really nicely themed in here. Lots of tills as well, lots of different points. Obviously photos are available for Fly the Pterosaur over there. 
Oh, let's go, next ride, Dinosaur Torco. Fair play to the guys who were doing all the landscaping at Pullman's Park. Like I said, they got the best hedges I've ever seen. Love a good Pullman's hedge. Did you hear that? Crikey! That's we're going too fast for you. Yeah, he's slowed down a bit for me. Unfortunately. Is it a set speed? Oh set speed, oh, okay. There you go. We've got an abandoned helicopter aeroplane. A helicopter? That's a funny one. <laughs> That's not a helicopter. That's an aeroplane. Yeah. <laughs> Great theme. Oh, Good job. Oh, we're going to get squirted here. Bit of a bumpy Love all the tropical plants. It makes me feel like I'm abroad. Uh oh. Oh. Can you see it? That's a And it's just caught a fish. Check out the magical waterfall. It is a magical waterfall. It's been running since the Cretaceous period. That's about 100 million years ago in old money. This fine looking dino is an iguanodon. What's that one called, Charlotte? An iguanodon. An, ig an iguanodon. Yeah, <laughs> it's about with the camera. Oh, beware. We're going into the dinosaur nesting area. <laughs> Are we on safari at Chesterton or something? Yeah. Now, this is a very special place. This couple of have decided to nest in this old Isidro tunnel. To the left in that recess, there's an X. I really like the onboard audio on this as well. This is incredible. A rare treat for all of us. Oh, cute little fella, isn't he? Check him out. Nothing dangerous in here, it's just cute little dinosaurs. We're fine. Absolutely fine. <laughs> Whoa! Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll, oh. I'll get you out now. Thank you. And there we are, coming to the end of our tour. Well, you know what? You've been a fantastic driver. Fantastic yeah, tour guide. I'm going to give you a tip. Thank you. I'm going to pay for you to have a ride on Cobra here at Paul's Park, which is free and included in with the admission prize. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice ride. You enjoy that? Yeah. Well, these fellas left in order to listen. Good ride system as well. And you like the helicopter, don't you? What's actually a plane? Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Sun's coming out. Great. I'm going to hit Sally, bro. Well, enjoy the rest of your day, folks. Onboard audio really makes that as well. I love attractions with a bit of a bit of a speaker attached to them. It's great. All these planting, it's lovely. Oh, I'll tell you what, wasn't that tour guide lovely? Re oh, really, really, really friendly. Really yeah, really. Good. It looks yeah. a bit like you, actually. It might be. Yeah, nice. oh, there you are. I recognise that yellow coat. Uh, but anyway, really nice little walk around there, of course, during the rides as well in Lost Kingdom. There is a couple of other attractions as well. you got uh, Boulder Dash and also Temple Heights as well. So we'll probably go on them later on if we get the time. Sure we will do, especially, you know, we seem to be, all the crowds go over to Pepper first and then sort of make the way make down the way to this around, end of the yeah. park. Uh, now, of course, this is one of the, uh, I say original areas, but in terms of their first big staple ride is located down here. That's Cobra, a Gerstler bobsleigh coaster. You've also got the Edge. Uh, 
uh, which is down here as well as Amperla Disco, and uh, also Magma, which I think we're going to go on first. I love Magma. Magma. This was like a little test with the theming, I think, because this was the first ride sort of outside of Peppa Pig World that they did all the heavy theming on, and really, ideally, this would fit really well inside Lost Kingdom, especially with it being, uh, you know, that sort of dinosaur-style feel to this. But you never know in the future, uh, they might either incorporate it more into a new themed area uh, all around by Cobra, or maybe even relocate this ride uh, down so it does fit in with Lost Kingdom, especially as the park is going down that route of themed areas and themed experiences. But yeah, it's a nice queue line in here. I like all the lights and stuff that you get on the wall when you get a bit further around. And obviously you have a nice smoke effect as well uh, just before the ride takes you up. Uh, it's a multiple drop and shot this one. So it takes you up, then brings you down, then spins you around, then takes you up again and brings you down. Yeah, it's a good long ride. So let's get on board. Yeah, these are all the nice walls. Look at these. Oh, nice effects. Oh, here we are, smoke's coming out. Loads of smoke today. And up we go. Quite a nice, fun little ride, this one. Nice overviews over there as well of the Edge and Cobra. And like I say, we'll head over there next. Beautiful area, though, the New Forest. Golf course over there. Shout out to Brett if you're watching. Do you remember Brett when we went over to uh, Orlando back in September? <laughs> you get a nice sensation on this ride, don't you? That free fall <laughs> apocalypse not quite apocalypse oh 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 when's he gonna drop when's he oh off it goes oh only a little one that time oh and another bit of a double drop it's quite unpredictable this ride especially if you don't come to the park that often you don't really know you know what's what's happening at what point I haven't quite worked out the cycle oh when are we gonna go is it a full one no it's it's another double, oh no, that's it. <laughs> I do like how unpredictable it is. Kind of makes the ride for me. Look at the car park over there. Quite busy on that one to the left, the right hand side car park. Uh, not very busy yet. Of course, Paulton's Park is one of the only parks left now in this country where it is free parking. There's still a few of them out there, but a lot of parks do charge. So that's the beauty of coming to here, free parking. And that's how it should be in my opinion. If you're paying to get into a park, you shouldn't have to pay to go on the car parks. Everyone's guilty of it though. Europa Park, Disney, some of my favorites, they do it. But the good thing about Paltons, there we are. As we ride on Magma, up next, and then we're going to have a ride on Cobra. Great Gerslau, fantastic family coaster. I'd love to see it enhanced with some theming in the future. And with how Paltons is going, I definitely think that's going to happen in the next few years. Now, you know my thoughts on Gerslauer. I'm not a fan of their thrill coasters. I'd say I prefer the rides that they've done that are thrilling with a launch, but in terms of the Eurofighters and stuff, I'm not a big fan of them. However, they do some really good family coasters, and this is great, uh, Cobra here at Paltons. It actually was installed in 2006. Like I say, it was their first sort of major ride, what sort of put them on the map in this country. And that isn't that long ago, really, 2006. I know we're in 2019 now, but look at all the investments that have come to this park since this was put in. But you enjoyed Magma, didn't you? Yeah. You get a nice sensation on them, day on them drop rides. But uh, you looking forward to going on Cobra again? Yes. Great ride, because you, you enjoyed uh, Van Alsen's factory, didn't you, as well, at Movie Park Germany. That's basically one of these, but it's all indoors, horror themes. Great ride, so Gerstler do some good stuff. I mean, Charlotte likes Gerstler anyway. I'm, it's just me, I'm not a massive fan of their thrill rides, but should we go on? Yeah. How long's the queue? Quite not too long, 10 minutes maybe? Let's go on Cobra, come along for the ride here at Paltons Park. Love all the announcements, it does make me laugh. Dispatch, here we go. Nice front row. Wait, we've only got two rows to choose from, but I do prefer being on the front row. It's quite a funny quote of mine, that there, wasn't it? On the front row, yeah. Yeah, on the front row. Nice open trains these are, aren't they? I like how you can stretch your legs. Yeah, you get, that's the thing when you're in the front. In the back, you've not got quite as much leg room. Ready to see all them nicely trimmed hedges, ready? Whoa, look at that. All the way around, every hedge. Woo, good first drop. Smooth, no gear steak. It's a nice, enjoyable ride. Straight to the side. Oh! Hey! Offer some great thrills. Whoa! <laughs> Woo! 
Here we go, nice helix, here we go. Helix, 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 way. Down again into another helix. This time with a bit of an upwards helix. Whoa. Upwards helix. Here we are, down for some air time and then a good head chopper, here we go. Air time, on right photo. More air time and a head chopper in the shed. <laughs> it's so smooth. Helix. Full of helix is this ride and air time. There we are. Nice smooth brakes. It's a great coaster that. Really, really good coaster. And around we're coming to the station. We only waited less than 10 minutes for this front row. Yeah, out of two rows. Yeah. <laughs> right, up next, we're going on the edge. So I'm on the edge of glory. Let's go. Charlotte, would you like to go to a party? Yeah. Because I've heard there's a disco on here at Portland's Park. Is that? It's a Zampula disco and Whoa. we're on it. Yeah, and it's not a C, it's a K. It's a disco. Right, let's go. Because we're on the edge. We're on edge. Here we go. <laughs> Inside joke, that one for me and Charlotte. Off we go. Woo we're going to make it. We're going to make it. Oh. Of course, building up that momentum to make it over the airtime hill. I enjoy these rides, but I've said it before with this one. Bit of a shame how it does have the uh, the seat belt that goes around your legs. Makes it a little bit uncomfortable, but if you, uh, they do have like a seat belt extender, don't they? If you do find it a bit too uncomfortable, then they'll attach on. We're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. Oh, so close. Great views as well of Cobra. Lovely. Nearly lost my shoe. You lost a shoe. <laughs> Please secure all these articles. What's your name, Martin? He, he doesn't secure his articles. <laughs> Dwerbal wind. Yeah, it's not great with the seatbelt. But safety first, safety first. Safety is paramount at theme parks, of course. But you know what you do get to see some good views of on here? More nicely trimmed hedges, look at that. All the way around. Hashtag Colton's hedges, look at that. You'd think they were fake, wouldn't you? But they're not, they're real, I can confirm, I have touched. And the hedges are real. I'll be disappointed if I come to Bolton's Park and I see like one bit of hedge sticking up at some point. Because it's just perfect every time. Look at it. <laughs> Crazy. And that was the edge. The edge. On the edge. I'm on edge. Charlotte's on edge. I'm, on edge. I'm just going to the disco. Okay. See you later. Some great rides then down at the bottom end here at Portons Park, of course. Started off on Magma, then we did Cobra, and then The Edge. There we are, it was on the edge I'm of on, glory. I'm on edge. I'm on edge. You're on edge, you're not now. You're walking down one of the new paths oh, for this edge. year. I'm uh, just loving this path. It's really homed it up quite nicely. And like I said earlier on with the cue balls, the permanent lighting, this park are really planning for the future. And that leads me on to the most, probably most exciting part of this vlog today, talking about 
their 2020 project Tornado Springs which is going to be absolutely incredible of course 2011 saw the opening of Peppa Pig World that was like their big boost and uh, from that point on you know the numbers kept going up here at Paltons Park uh, 2016 of course uh, they went and installed Lost Kingdom their first big themed area outside of Peppa Pig uh, of course little bits in between there uh, and since then as well that they've done improvements around the park uh, and then 2020 we'll see the opening of Tornado Springs which is going to be an absolutely incredible project because we already seen on Twitter uh, the fact that all these this whole themed area all these guys uh, that are own all these different businesses and rides within the area as part of the storyline that's how much they're going into it they've all got their own Twitter accounts yeah. and they're all sort of chatting to each other about this storm what is coming and it's Storm Mac uh, and that's with the C so Storm Mac is coming and basically they're gonna have to do all this work to sort of rebuild after the storm and this is a big project when we walked in today we, we obviously we knew all the construction had started but we didn't realize quite how big the area was going to be the for this the area is huge i'll turn the camera around and let's go for a little walk around the perimeter of what will be tornado springs come and have a look at this here we are look at this area it is absolutely huge as you can see you've got Critter Creek off to the left just to put it into perspective because it looks very different there's done a lot of land clearance around here uh, you used to have like the little panning for gold attraction and stuff around here so they've not removed any rides for this it's a completely new installation of course you've got uh, show streets uh, just down there so yeah this was all sort of blocked in but look at this now it's a huge area and what can we see over here Charles I mean I'm drawn straight to this here in the middle look at this of course confirmed new rides coming to this area this is what interests me the most we've got Storm Mac that is coming along that to me it looks potentially like a Mac ride spinning coaster very similar to Dwerval Wind at Toverland that looks interesting we've got a gyro swing just there again look at all the theming like the general store and stuff down the bottom drop some drop towers what what do you think of these really really good it I think good. some bigs come in and yeah. obviously with Portland's yes they are a family park and these are family rides but they're going to be the most thrilling rides yeah, here really good. you know at the moment there's nothing quite like this a pendulum style gyro swing and the fact that this looks you know Storm Max coming that you know coming, it yeah. is coming Storm Mac is on the way but look at this it's an absolutely huge area Route 83 Tornado Springs signs and yeah if we carry on walking around there's some more visuals and stuff to see there's the storm it looks a bit vicious doesn't it Charlotte you're gonna get why don't you get everybody in the area like them coats yeah, to protect them, them to protect you're gonna need them but here we are in case of tornado we've got some uh, things that we need to do here so there we are we've got tornado watch during a tornado you've got to try and remain calm go to the basement uh, or a room in the center of the building or the lowest floor with no windows there you are some advice for you leave your vehicle and seek shelter do not try to outrun a tornado just just don't do just it don't do it uh, do not fear that do not go near sorry the fallen power lines or damaged areas from the tornado just don't do it just don't do it then you've got all these down here very very interesting look at this brand in here oh it's so exciting buffalo falls uh, which looks quite interesting we can assume that that's the former uh, water ride of course wave runner which we'll see when we go a bit further around and work has started on that but it looks to me they've been hinting towards this water ride and here you can see all the different attractions this looks to me if you look at the drop here i know some speculation people have been thinking about a, a log flume I think, you know, personally, we're going to see uh, a retheme of Wave Runner there looking at this and maybe, you know, some waterfalls and stuff around the side. Obviously, Trekking Tractors, that's an existing ride. Looks like it's been themed into this area as well. So they're two existing attractions. And look at this down here, the Route 83 Diner. Uh, if it's actually going to have the jukebox and stuff in there, that's going to be great. And I think that's uh, something that's needed here. Another big indoor restaurant like the one at the entrance. Of course, Al's Garage. We can assume maybe that's going to be some sort of uh, driving school car style ride. And of course, another little hint up here to Storm Mac that's coming. You can join the Storm Chasers and revel in their quest to capture the perfect storm with Storm Mac that is coming in 2020. So it's exciting. It is really exciting. And we know from Lost Kingdom that they can do theming really well here, but 
I can't wait for this. I really can't wait to uh, to follow it. And of course, uh, hopefully we'll be able to come down here and see some of the construction. But just look at this. Obviously, you've got the Rio Grande uh, train that runs right through the middle there as well. Obviously, the track, uh, that's all closed at the moment. So we can assume that's going to be maybe rerouted to go through the area. And we're going to see different buildings and theming. And honestly, I think this is the project to watch for 2020 and beyond. I don't think we're going to see anything like this for quite a while. So, yeah, and look at the size of it i mean this is a huge area that's buffalo falls if we're assuming it's uh, gonna be that uh, obviously that's buffalo falls and it's all of this area it is huge and it goes right back over towards the car park as you can see more images all around the side here honestly paulton's is the part to watch i've been saying this since but well, when we came for lost kingdoms yeah. press day i said was already like, wow. this is the part to watch and here we are a few years later this massive expansion it, yeah i think this is going to be the biggest investment they've ever done to be honest and if it is a mac ride spinning coaster a bit like twirl wind at toverland then i think they're on to a winner definitely, definitely. but uh, anyway we'll have a little further walk around we're going towards pepper pig world Charlotte's going to get some lunch we'll have something to eat and uh, yeah do some rides but on the way we'll just have another quick look at the work what's already started there and what we can assume is going to be buffalo falls Honestly, I still can't believe the size of this 2020 project. Tornado Springs is going to be huge because we're around the other side now of what was formerly known as Wave Runner and what we can assume is going to be Buffalo Falls with it being, it looks like the concept art, doesn't it? How you've got the little drops on there. Of course, it's a dinghy slide. And you can see here, theming is already going into place. Obviously, this didn't have any theming at all before. And yeah, they're really sort of separating this off and putting it in as part of Tornado Springs. And look at all that already. It looks very good quality, actually, what's going on. All wood and panels and it looks to me like that's going to be continuing all the way to the top of that structure as well uh, but obviously you're mainly going to see it from the other side because as you can see you've got more of the theme fence over there and we can assume there's going to be another entrance to the area from here because trekking tractors which i believe is still operating at the moment yes the train's closed whilst work's going on you can see the tracks here and this was the station um, but yeah obviously we can assume that there's going to be another entrance area here and you're going to walk round into the area and see See this big coaster from there as well so honestly really excited but i think charlotte at the moment is more excited for something else oh. and that is joy's dinosaur ride she's off into pepper pig world let's go and have a look round. and you know what charlotte no matter what the queue is we're gonna go on it because it's your third visit now to paltons park i think we're gonna be coming a lot more after next year's investment yeah. but uh, there you go let's go into pepper pig world have a walk round, and uh, yeah let's try and get charlotte on uh, george's dinosaur ride here we are then, so we've made it to George's Dinosaur Adventure. Look at the queue. It is busy, it is busy. But I have just said, what have I just said to you, Charlotte? We can come back at ride time. Or I said we'll oh, wait. We'll I, wait. I did say that I'll wait. It's such a long wait. So I'm putting it on Charlotte now. Would you like to wait to ride George's Dinosaur Adventure? Are you sure? Yeah. I don't mind. It's I know you really want to go on it. Are you sure? But we'll have a little walk around here. Maybe going to do the trekking tractors, actually, because like we say, that's going to be part of Tornado Springs next year. So we might see a bit more over there, updates-wise. Yeah, we've come to look at it when it's quite quiet as well, haven't we? It's lunchtime now. You just had a nice hot dog. Charles had hot dog. Dry hot dog. Yeah, oh, I loved it. Was it nice? It's okay. There you are. We call it dry hot dog because I don't have any sauce on it. And you didn't have any sauce on that time either. Just a nice, any. just dry, just how you want it. Just a nice, dry, I don't like sauce on it, hot dog. Here we are, but there's loads of rides in this area. Of course, George's Dinosaur Adventure over there. You've got Daddy Pig's car ride, this little train. There's a lot of rides. I mean, this area is great, isn't it, Charlotte? I love it. And you've not seen the new expansion over here. Obviously, when we came uh, last time, me and Alex were here for the press event, but Charlotte couldn't make that one. So we'll have a little uh, look around here. And I'll share a bit of off-ride footage of you from around here. Don't know if we'll be able to go on these or not, because they're probably going to have big queues. We'll probably come down here later in the day. Um, yeah, you've got two new rides, what they put in for last year around here. And they're very nice, really nice area. Of course, you've got this big castle. Yeah, like this was just like no man's land. You know, the area didn't sort of uh, come out here at all. Got yeah. All the what? Workmen. All the workmen. Yeah, digging up the road. Well, there's a pass hole over here, look. Oh, no. Here you are. It's like the N25 over here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've never watched Peppa Pig in my life. So, but who are these? Do you know the names, these ones? You don't know? Don't watch it that oh, here we are. Maybe you've got a little know, one, you know. I know the smaller characters, but not the larger. Characters. Like I assume, all these don't appear all the time, do they? The Spends on the episode. This is when they're digging the road. Up. They're digging the road. Oh, oh, we've got a leak down here. Look. Oh no. 
<laughs> Got a leak. Yeah. Again, it's all the flowers and everything what make it for me. I mean, look at all the topiaries and stuff. It is great. You really like it. Yeah, I'll show you a bit of off-ride footage from some of the attractions here in Peppa Pig World. And then we're going to have a ride on trekking tractors, which is just down the end here. Going to be really interesting to see how they incorporate this into Tornado Springs. It shows how big the area is going to be, though, because we're really far from where we first started that clip where all the fence was. Uh, yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see. Hello there, y'all. I'm Farmer Shorn, and welcome to the trekking trackers here at Poulton's Park. Here we are. Are you going to give me a hunk of the horn? Oh, we're not going to be all. Oh, are you joking? Oh, the lights are going on. Oh, no, no horn. Here we are in Trekking Tractors. Like I say, we've got some changes potentially coming to this ride. So that we're coming here and have a go because new land for 2020 going just here. It's all going to form part of it. But let's have a little look. I'll turn you around. And you know what? I'm going to start doing that accent because I'm not a father, am I? No. You're not. I'm definitely not a father. Let's go. What's in the shed? Mystic Timbers. Yeah. <laughs> We are, little maintenance shed. I do like how the maintenance shed is actually themed in with the ride though, the tractor shed. Oh, well, here we are, we get a bit of a look round at this side of the old wave runner, runner, runner. Come on, Sean, get it right. Yeah. I love Fultons, but I've actually not been that much. I think I've only been about six times before. Which, over the years, is nothing compared to how many times I've been to a lot of other parks. Yeah, I'll be very interested to see what changes around here and especially how they're going to separate off Tornado Springs to Peppa Pig. So obviously that ends just there and this is the uh, potentially Buffalo Falls. Oh, we can see lots of work going on over there. What looks to me like foundations have actually gone into place as well over there. See over there in the distance? Looks to me like we've got some footings gone in potentially for the coaster. Well, I assume it will be. I mean, we know there's two drop towers and a gyro swing going in, but uh, yeah, this is very interesting. A few shipping containers behind this wall. Maybe we'll see all this hedge coming out. More hedge coming out. No, we like the hedge. Less for them to prune, I suppose. Oh, we're going to get a, a photo. Nice big cheesy smiles. Whee! Love it. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Even this though, it's nicely presented, isn't it? All the little bits around. Actually growing stuff as well, you know, which is quite nice. Used to love the tractors at Alton Towers when I was a kid. I was a big fan. But yeah, no work's really started or anything around here at the moment, but it'll be interesting to see how they uh, fit it in with the new area. Coke and we've waited five minutes. Onboard audio, Charlotte's first time on this one. Well, what is that? Who's this? That's the Mr. Potato. Mr. Potato. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not for Charlotte. It's for a family friend of ours. Yippee! Mr. Potato. You have some great views up here, all across Peppa Pig world. Oh, that's George's Dinosaur Adventure! Well, you've got to get you on it. Got some great pictures up here. Shows you all the different rides in the area. There is loads. An amazing family area, this. Wave to everyone! The balloon ride over there. Honestly, there's so much. Windy Castle, that's a good fun ride. I've been on that before. Eco-friendly roof as well with all the grass on. Yeah, like I said, this is one of the two new rides here for last year and the little Mac rides, boat ride down the bottom. This wasn't a Mac ride, what we're on now. But build quality is really nice, actually. And it's big, isn't it? Like when we first stepped in, you were like, look at the size of it. Where's Mr. Potato gone? Oh, he's back in the back. He's going to suffocate in there. He's scared. He's not like eyes. No. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's a lovely area. What do you think to these new additions for last year? I love it. You like, you're a big kid, aren't you? We wanted the one with the dinosaur on there, didn't we? That one over there! And nobody in there! Well, I have been to Oh no, that's the offload, you see. Uh, it, the offload, and then it sends it empty to the onload. My, my! They're very quiet though, we wait five minutes. The boat ride's a bit busy, yeah. it's this queue line just down here. I don't think we'll go on the boat ride. Probably not too bad though, I'd say only about 15 minutes. It's not unbearable. Grumpy Rabbit Sailing Club! Grumpy Rabbit Sailing Club! Hello, Grumpy 
you think this area opened like a week ago. It just looks so fresh, everything looks so nice. And I pointed this out on the opening, but look at that wall down there, not a vinyl in sight. Hand painted wall there, look, all the details on it. So nice. You got all the flowers in the top there as well. And the train track runs just behind the back of there. Of course, that'll be reopening at some point once Tornado Springs construction is complete. That's the uh, maintenance shed there. Very nicely themed maintenance shed, I must add. Probably one of the nicest team maintenance sheds there is. I mean, most parks wouldn't really theme that up so much, but they do here at Poulton's. Of course, you got Little Africa just down there, another uh, new addition for last year. Every two years, they seem to be putting in something major. It is crazy. Obviously, 2016 was Lost Kingdom. 2018, so two years later, we had this. And then two years later again, 2020, of course, we're getting the new area, Tornado Springs. Great investment. Gonna head down towards Little Africa, have a walk around there next. Gonna see the meerkat, shall we? You might see him from above just here, actually. Oh, theme maintenance shed. Likes picnics. I do, I do. I do. Have a I like picnics. Well, well, little Africa, then we'll head down towards Critter Creek. A cup of tea and some cake. Back at my castle instead. <laughs> yes. Here we are then, welcome to Little Africa. Having a little play, these meerkats down here. Oh, hello. What are you doing? What are you doing? Always thinking, oh, Storm Mac is on the way. That's what he's thinking. Preparing for that storm, aren't you? Oh, oh, they're all coming in. It's like when we buy a sausage roll from uh, Greg's and me and Charlotte, they're like, <laughs> yeah, it's all a little walk through. Great area, again, lots of uh, shelter around here as well, which is always great. Quite a big area, actually. Very nicely finished off. Ladies doing a bit of a talk about the animals over there. And into the nocturnal house we go. There's what? You're not coming in? It's only a few bats flying about. I don't like the smell. It's fine, this no, one. I can't. Oh. Here we go. Ooh. Nice. There's only winding her up, there's nothing flying about. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are. Where's the fox? Where is he? Can't see the fox. What does the fox say? He goes ring ding 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 ding. I always struggle to see things when I come in exhibits like this because they're normally standing still, aren't they? Under a like a log or something under a branch. Very nice in here though, it's very warm. Doesn't smell at all, I don't know what Charlotte was on about. Look at this. Is that it? The giant African millipede. Yeah, you can see him down the side. There he is. Charlotte came in in the end. She was a bit scared, weren't you? I wasn't yeah. scared. Hey, confirm, did it smell in there? No, but when you've been to like Chester Zoo and place, I've been in their bat cave and the smell did not be Worth pointing out that the bats aren't flying about in there with you. I can see it, bat. They're, they're behind the glass yeah. in that one it's on the right. It's nice in there. The lighting's really nice. It's relaxing, yeah. isn't it? Re and the music, like the African drums really nice. that are just yeah. playing away yeah. in the background. Yeah. yeah, this is the area where there's a few bits flying about. Nice area, isn't it? I've been in it, so it's really nice yeah. to see. All this new for last year, it's crazy, isn't it? Like, really nice. There's the birds that we can see. What we got? The black crowned night heron. Oh. The then what's this one? Old ibis. Not the northern lynx. Not the northern lynx. I like the northern lynx. One of my favourite animals, the northern lynx. <laughs> there we go. Little Africa at Poulton's Park. Chuck it. Oh, 
Welcome to the carousel. You know me, I love a good carousel, merry-go-round, whatever you want to call them. And this is probably the nicest one that we've got in the UK. It's a nice double-decker carousel. And oh, it's lovely this is. Here we are on the top deck. You know what the best thing about this is as well? What's the best thing about it, Charlotte? Views. The views. Because of course you get the beautiful views of the park. As you might have already seen behind me, we get some great views of the construction site for Tornado Springs. Look at this. You can really see how foundations have uh, well started there, haven't they, for the coaster? Crazy, we'll see it again as we go a bit further around. Yeah, look at this, it's really nice with all the planting around. And here we are, we can assume there's going to be some sort of big grand entrance here that leads into it. Yeah, you can really work out then foundations. The layout looks like it's going to be quite a big coaster. I think we're looking at something dwarfal wind size, if it is what we're expecting. I'm looking at those plans. Wow. Obviously you can see the tractors over there in the background and sort of how that's all going to be incorporated into the area. There we are, lovely ride. Right, let's head over there to Critter Creek. Gonna have a ride on another coaster. And welcome to Critter Creek. Hello, how are you? He, he talked to me. Did you hear him then? How good was that? I thought he was going to sound like the Queen for a minute then. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it will do. Maybe it will. Hello? Hello? Oh, he's got a bit of a he's got a bit of a deep a deep yeah, voice that one. Deep. Oh, a deep voice. There we are. Oh, this is really nice area. This all the very bright. I mean, everything's so positive and bright colours and everything in this park. There's no dark themes. I mean, I wouldn't complain if in the future they did actually put in a bit of a spooky area because it's something what they've not got here, you know. And here we're going on the Caterpillar coaster. This was rethemed a few years ago and it's very, very nice. You're gonna get these dancing, are you? Woo! Oh, there he is, look. Hello. Oh, that's it. Keep it pumping. One more to go. <laughs> oh, I like Rory the best. They're a bit freaky they are, I think. A bit, bit spooky. Right, let's go. Cato Pillar Coaster. Da -da -da -da. Oh, look at the nice themed board there. Round we go. That's your extension queue line. Oh no! Charlotte, I can't get you out. What are you doing? Yeah, right, let's go. Come along for the ride. GoPro's coming on. Here we go, honk that horn and off we go on the Caterpillar. Do like the nose car on this. Here we are on the front row actually. Good row selection there by Charlotte. Yeah. And we get some good near misses again caused by the track on this one. Here we go. They're really close to the track. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> Whoa. Woo oh yes. See, this was a really old coaster at the park and they just spruced it all up. They care so much at Bolton's photo. Woo! There we are, station fly through. We slow down a little bit and straight through for lap number two. We've hardly queued for anything though today. It's, you know, it's, it's Peppa Pig World what gets the big queues, but we are going to do George's Dinosaur Ride. We're definitely going to do it. Charlotte really wants to go, don't you? And it, it is only like just gone two o'clock, so we've got a few hours left yet. You know, we've seen a lot of the park today, so we've definitely got time. <laughs> yeah, some good hang time there on the front. Then you get pushed around this corner. Give him a little stroke. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Maybe you've got kids who are a little scared of going on roller coasters as well. This is a great part to come to, to build up from some smaller rides to some more bigger coasters as well. There we are, Cato Pillar. Greetings, explorers, and welcome to Beastie Burrow. Let's see what beasts we've got inside here today. And here's one. <laughs> oh, what we got? Anything in? I said just when I was in the dark one over in uh, in the Africa section, like I always struggle to see things inside these exhibitions. 
see anything, Charlotte? Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh, oh, he's just falling off. Yeah. <laughs> he's a bit clumsy, that one. Clumsy. We've got a little aquarium there as well. Got some little fishies. Hello. Do love a good fish tank. I find them so relaxing. Oh, Charlotte's made a new friend over here. We've got a theme park worldwide pal. There he is. Roger. Is that actually his name or have you just made that up? You've made it up, right. Which are the beasts have we got to see? What beast have we got? Wow, look at that. Look at the size of him. I know why it's called the Beastie Borough now. It's like I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Here they are, look. Oh, look at them all up there. There you are, you can get underneath it and good photo point. Is that a cabbage hanging up there? Cabbage? They must like eating cabbage. You like that, do you? Find it satisfying, yeah. Look at them all. How are these staying up there without fun? I know, yeah, if we tried to do that, we'd just fall. Crazy, isn't it? All these beasts in the beastie borough. So as we make our way back over to Lost Kingdom, we're going to do some re-rides. Charlotte just wants to show you all these lovely birds. How nice are these birds? They're red. They are really, really nice birds. Look at those. Aren't they really bright? I don't know what they are. I can't see a little board with saying what they are. But we're off to see the new Flamingo area now, which is new for 2019. Like I said, I've done quite a bit of work around the gardens area, uh, like we said at the start of the video, to improve the flow around the park. Yeah, they're very nice then, very bright. This one's not quite as bright here though. Well, look at him down there on the floor, he's a bright one over at the back. Lovely. Yeah, well, quite a lot of this has been redone. It's a really nice area around here. Of course, in the summer, you can bring a picnic and just chill out on the grass. But there's a lot of food uh, options available here as well, you know, but we quite like bringing a picnic. Of course, saves the pounds as well. We do it quite a bit. Oh, this looks very nice. Yeah, loads of benches and nice little bridge there. Bit of a tiki style feel to it. We're walking over it, we may as well, aren't we? Oh, they are. It tells you what they are in the uh, on that board over there. All the different birds, what we've got. In the garden aviary. The scarlet ibis. The scarlet ibis. Is that not a hotel, an ibis? Ibis. Yeah. <laughs> oh, where, where do we get to it? Oh, I don't know. What are you seeing anyway? We're going to have a look around here. Is this the new flamingo? Uh, we're just over here. And here's the new enclosure for the flamingos. Get nice and close to these. Oh, you're right there. Just squawking at each other. Yeah, they do sound a bit like pigs, don't they? Yeah, piggy piggies. Pigs are at the other end of the park. Pepper pig. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is nice. All been finished off well. They really like these tropical plants here, which is great. You know, it gives it that nice feel to it, doesn't it? I feel like I'm in a, a foreign theme park, like I'm in Spain or something with all the tropical plants. Shame the sun isn't shining for us today, isn't it, though, Charlotte? But we're having a nice day, aren't we? You enjoying yeah, it? Yes, I'd just love to get on George's down. So. Uh, honestly, well, we're going to do some re rides down here and then we're going to head down there. So it'll be coming up shortly on the vlog because obviously I've already filmed the rides down this end. We might do a uh, boulder dash and stuff actually, yeah. temp temple lights as well. May as well, but uh, yeah, and we'll head back down to Pepper, and uh, we've got to get Charlotte on there, so we're just going to queue for it no matter what, we've got to. I know we said that earlier, but I would have queued, but Charlotte thought, no, let's wait, and uh, we'll try it a little later. So we've just been to put that bag in the car, haven't we, actually, yeah. and there's quite a few Mr. people Potato leaving. Oh, no, I'm gutted. But there's quite a few people leaving the park now, so hopefully it will be a little bit quieter uh, when we head down there. So picturesque, isn't it? That much so, we're going to take a nice selfie, of me and Charlotte right here. And of course, give us a follow on Instagram if you haven't already. It's at Sean Sandbrook. And at Charlotte TPW. Give us a follow on Instagram and also at Theme Park Worldwide for our official one. Of course, they're our personal ones, aren't they? Where we post theme park stuff, but also a mix of what we get up to. So make sure you give us a follow over on Insta. 
just thought I'd show you this sign whilst we're here because I've definitely never put it in a vlog before. I'm not too sure if it's a new sign or not, to be honest. It could be, but I don't know, maybe somebody knows, comment on the video. Um, but yeah, this just gives you a bit of information on the old Paltons estate. And we're actually standing here on the site of the old Paltons Manor House. There we are. A little bit of information all around it. Very, very interesting, isn't it? This gives you all information about the land that we're on now, really. Shame the manor house isn't still standing, really. Yeah, a little look at it from an aerial view. Yeah, you can make out the tree line, actually, from where we are and some of the water around. Very interesting, isn't it? But I suppose maybe if the estate was still standing, then we wouldn't have got the theme park, I suppose, because, you know, it might have been National Trust sites or something. But yeah, very interesting. It was a big manor house, wasn't it? Right, I think we'll have a go on Temple Heights because it's just here on the right-hand side, inside uh, Lost Kingdom. We've got a dinosaur on the loose. I repeat, a dinosaur on the loose. Oh, he's coming over. Whoa, oh he's on the loose. Look at that, hello. Oh, he's after you, Charlie. She looks very tasty. Do you think she looks tasty? Yeah, oh. <laughs> she looks very tasty, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah, that's what he thinks. Love it, he's get, get him back, get him back. He's already broke through all these wires, look at this. Oh, he's off. Look at that. Great. Really like that. In he goes. That's it. Lock him back up. He's off. Yeah. <laughs> back inside. Love it. So the door closes. He's already escaped once. Here's a look at the uh, times for that. There you go. Dinosaur alive. There we are. Right. Let's go. Temple Heights. Here we go. It's another ride where Charlotte blends in with the seats. Have you ever been on this before? Yeah. Have you? Can't remember. Come on, it with you. There you are, nice yellow. That is a yeah, exact same yellow as well. I love it. <laughs> Woo! Let's get a nice view of Lost Kingdom. It's just another filler ride, isn't it, really? I wouldn't want to wait like too long for it. It's just a nice filler attraction. That's the good thing with this area and also with what we've seen from Tornado Springs, there's going to be a lot of rides within it to eat up those queues. One of the nicest views in the area, that actually. Shame the sun's not up here shining forwards. Mammy Wave, two pound a ride, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Your local fun fair. Oh. Oh, which way are we going to go? We're going left, we're going right. Oh, Miami. Mega Miami. It's like the mini Miami, actually, isn't it? It is a mini Miami. Whoa. Watch out for that dinosaur. He likes Charlotte. He wanted to eat you. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Great ride there on Temple Heights. If you've got kids that absolutely love the big dinosaurs, you've got to come in the queue for Boulder Dash because you've got these two massive ones just here at the side, both of them animatronics as well. Get really close to them and you can stand them just here up against the queue fence, get a really good photo. Yeah, huge dinosaurs. Let's go. Right then, we're sitting in a nice giant egg for a little spin on Boulder Dash. I'm in the front, I've not got much leg room here, but Charlotte's in the back. And she's living the dream. I love this. <laughs> Boulder Dash, good fun ride. Well, it's like crazy taxis at Europa Park, isn't it? Woo! Good fun rides. They've also got one of these in Thomasland, actually, at Drayton Manor, but I don't actually go on it that often. Probably should do. This one feels like it spins a bit more, actually. Get a bit dizzier, yeah. Just nice and clever because obviously it's two turntables and then they just cross over at certain points. It's quite an interesting ride system in my opinion because they do get close. Yeah, it does run really nice. Just a nice little ride, isn't it? Hashtag eggs the ride. Get some lovely views as well. Fly the pterosaurus above us. It's just dispatched actually. We're going to see it going over us now. There we are. Boulder Dash, only a short cycle on that, but to be honest, it does spin you quite a bit, doesn't it, that one? Love it. Right, we're going to do a few more re-rides. Going to have another ride on everything again down this end of the park. And we'll see you a little bit later on, but we're actually going to ride George's Dinosaur Adventure. a few re-rides since we last spoke to you. We've just been on Cobra again and now I have sent Sean on 
once the logs through because I don't want to get wet. So I'll get some footage of him while he's on there. So Charlotte's off ride for this one. And as you just said, we've just done a few more re-rides. And here we go. How wet am I going to get? The boat actually looks quite wet. I was in my own boat on this one. Down with a double drop first. Let's go. I'd love to see Portland's Park build a brand new log for him at some point in the future. Charlotte's down the bottom. Oh God. Here we go. Whoa. Oh God. Got a bit wetter than I was expecting then. Up to lift number two. Of course, this is a standard traveling log flume. There's quite a lot of these out there. Oh, up we go. Maybe when they come around to theming up the area around Cobra at some point in the future, we might see them add a new flume ride. Here's a look at the jeans so far. I've had some new jeans, by the way. They are. I've been to Primark. Other brands are available. It's nice to think that the new coast is going down that end of the park as well, with the other big rides being down here. And here we go. Whee! Oh, God. Oh, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm not too bad. Yeah. Whee! Lovely. Yeah, I'm, I'm reasonable. Look at the sun's come out now. Anyway, for the last few rides of the day, we've got about an hour left to go. We're at Paulton's Park. And boom. George's dinosaur adventure is quiet. There we are. Still not a walk on, but Peppa Pig World has got very, very quiet compared to how it was earlier on. So we're going on George's dinosaur adventure. This is the moment, Charlotte. Three visits to Poulton's Park, and you're finally going to get to ride. Tell the viewers how you feel. She's a, she's a big kid, isn't she? Here we are. We're going to be hopping up and down on these dinosaurs. Let's go. Here we go! Georgie's dinosaur adventure. Honestly, Charlotte Blaster, she's so excited saying that cute line. We only wait about five minutes as well, so can't complain. But uh, yeah, really nice and quiet. Five minute queue. Quite a few of the other rides in Pepper Pig World are very quiet now. So, a little bit of advice if you do come to Bolton's Park. I know your kids are probably going to be really excited to get into Pepper Pig World, but you will save a lot of time on the queues if you start down the other end of the park on the lights of the Edge, Cobra, Lost Kingdom, and then come down here later on. Like, it's 10 past four now, and a lot of the queues around here are very quiet. So, we'll probably do a few rides. I like Windy Castle, so I'd like to try and go on that but where's Charlotte she gets very excited I can see her let's show you <laughs> there she is was it worth the wait <laughs> it's the fact it's got the audio and it also moves forward and backwards that I really like on this it's a really nicely themed ride as well again you know I've spoken about it enough today but the park just looked beautifully it's landscaped so well there she is <laughs> rocking back and forwards and obviously if you've got a kid you can just sit them on this little seat just in front of you very cute little ride yeah look at the paths around here now very very quiet <laughs> back around we go right i'm gonna have to try and get a photo with charlotte when we come into the station i love it <laughs> just about the bob up and down that makes it for me <laughs> how was your ride then charlotte was it worth it Amazing. You loved it, didn't you? Really. Right, we're going on Windy Castle now. I've not been on this for a while either. Let's go. Hey, the Bubble Wine on YouTube. Love it. Get some great views up on this one. Let's go. Oh my god, this is scary. You're scared? Yeah. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Come on, get us spinning. Oh, it's the fact they rock side to side, isn't it? Here we are. Hey. It's like you're actually flying, isn't it? I do like it. Oh. <laughs> From up here as well, we also get some good views of Tornado Springs. I say from up here, we've lowered down again now. We will do when we get higher up. There you go. Quite hard to see because we're spinning, but it does, doesn't it? Quite an intense little flat ride for the kids, this one. That's it. Oh, we can see again now. Windy Castle. There we are, look. Little look over towards what we think is going to be Buffalo Falls. Lovely. Windy oh, Castle. The slide cred. I'm sure you can. It's very quiet. Look at the land though now. Yeah. Definitely worth coming in here later on, isn't it? You can draw your kids away in the morning to go and do the other parts of the park. Whoa! Spinning more than Spinball Wizard. Love it. 
Welcome to Grumpy Rabbit Sailing Club. <laughs> I've got hiccups, so I do apologise. Hey, the camera shakes so off. The videos are up. Hey, I have got hiccups. Don't know why. They've just come on last. Oh, there we go. Last minute. Look how nice them sandwiches look. Oh yeah, I'm on that victorious. Victorious. Look <laughs> <laughs> well, the hiccups. It's rare that I don't think I've ever got hiccups in a vlog. I don't know. I can't, Charles asked me to talk, I'll let her do the commentary. So, welcome to Boat Ride. Gram, Grumpy Rabbit. Grumpy Rabbit's Boat Ride. Sailing Club. Sailing Club. So, we're going around seeing the characters from Pacific. First time going on this? Yes, it's very cute. It's a Mac ride. Storm Mac, Storm Mac. Storm Mac. 2020. Oh, yeah? Nice. How clean does the trough look? I don't know, look how clean the water and the trough looks. It makes the ride even better when all the water's clean as well. Do you agree with me that this is like the UK's Europa Park? Yeah, it's so nice. Like I love the, the way park. it's like la landscape, <laughs> la 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 landscape and everything. Yeah, it's really nice. I they love care it. a lot, don't they, the yeah, family that are in this yeah. park? You know, we, they really are. We're lucky enough to know them quite well. I had a good chat to them whilst we've been here. and. You know, they really do look after this part. No vinyls inside, it's all hand painted on these walls as well. Very, very nice, very, very pretty. Pretty. I'm gonna have to just turn the camera off because these hiccups. You can't do it. Well, there we are, last last 20 minutes or so now. I don't know what we'll do as a last ride. Try and get something in and that'll be it. End our day here at Paulton's Park. We'll have a look in the Pepper gift shop actually. I'll show you, show you that. And also the main gift shop as well to uh, wrap up the vlog. Lovely day. Welcome to the Peppa Pig gift shop. Here we are. Let's have a little look around and see what we've got. What are these? Daddy Pig earrings. $3.99. We've got these canvases, which are quite nice. I suppose you put them on your kid's bedroom yeah. bedroom wall or something. I still got hiccups, guys. Still got hiccups. These soft So these beanies are $7.99. Yeah, so $7.99 for the beanies, but the larger ones are priced at $13.99. $13.99, there's the dinosaur up there. <laughs> oh god, I keep, sorry guys, I do apologise. Charlotte's going to have to do the talking. Let's carry on around the shop. So you've got a lot of toys in this gift shop. So you've got bubble party packs. You've got drum sets, musical sets, Peppa Pig. Guitars. I assume quite a few of these items might be exclusive as, as well. Yeah, like some of them are probably exclusive. And then we've got Peppa Pig Frams. Literally there's, everything you can think of is in the shop. Yeah, there's all sorts, isn't there? They've got some more plushies and clothes around the other oh, side. What's this? Light ups. Oh. Wow. Peppa Pig car keys. Nice. Aeroplane, giant. Oh, here's the plushes. Um, $24.99 for the for the plush. Yeah. All sorts of bags. Bags, suitcases, stationery. They've got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Little bags, swim bags, umbrellas. I wonder what causes you to get hiccups. I don't know, I think, I think it's when you take too much air. You reckon? Telephone lines. We've got some clothing round here, haven't we, Charlotte? Yes, so we've got the clothes round here, so we've got shoes, sandals, we've got more toys, clothes. What's the sort of pricing we're looking at with some of these clothes, so just so the viewers some of can. These clothes. So this epic dress. Is eleven ninety nine, which I think is really good pricing. Mm. So these pig slippers are nine ninety nine. Not bad pricing. I can't believe I've still got the cups. Seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. They've actually got some really good deals in the shop at the moment. If you come in very soon. Yeah, obviously it depends on the time of year, doesn't it? I suppose, like you know, yeah, eight ninety nine for that one. Not bad. If you wanted to have Peppa Pig bedding, which is just 18 99 I really like the range of merch they've got in here. It's kind of like going to a, a home store and look at, looking at everything. They've got a bit of everything on offer, you know. Also, like lunch boxes if you're going to school, which are priced at just 13 99 I think that's quite expensive for the lunch box. It's when you can get the clothes for like 12 99 Back products. So you've got Grandpa Pig's bath time boat, priced at just 23 99 like we've got foam, bath wash, 
tissues. Loads of stuff, loads of stuff. We can't point out everything, obviously, obviously, but there's a lot of stuff here in the shop. And uh, yeah, there you go, there's a little look inside. Obviously, there's all plushies around there. More clothes, all sorts of stuff. But anyway, we're gonna head back outside, get our last r ride in, and then we'll wrap up the vlog, have a look in the big gift shop at the exit, and wrap up the day here at Paltons Park. And what a lovely day it's been. What a wonderful day we've had here at Paltons Park and the way that they designed this new entrance when they built it, uh, the fact that you all walk out through the gift shop here, a great way of getting people out of your park and getting to see all the different merchandise really. Yeah. I really like rides and parks and stuff that end in the gift shop. I know some people think, oh they're forcing you through the shop, but I really like it. For me it's all part of the experience, especially when it's a gift shop like this. What, what are you looking at there Charlotte, what are you found? Key rings, they are, but yeah, it's very nicely themed in here. Obviously, you've got all the clouds and umbrellas at the top, all the lights and all these trees, this huge dragon with the animatronic wings on there. Honestly, it is huge in here, and they sell all sorts of gifts. Loads and loads of stuff in here. You've got the helicopter up the top there. Yeah, I need to wind Charlotte up now. That's a helicopter. <laughs> As you thought, that's obviously in Lost Kingdom. There was a, uh, where is she now? She's still over there, Charlotte. That's a helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> there you are. What you got? A donkey. Oh, hello. He's only got one. Oh, yeah, that's on the other side. I couldn't see his other ear then. Donkey had a good day? Yes. <laughs> and my favourite thing up here is, of course, you've got the unicorn with his wings that move side to side and the coach up there. What a cool gift shop. Awesome. Victorian carousel with all the plushies on. Really, really nice shop. Obviously, if you get to pick anything else up around the park, you can get it in here. Loads of toys, plushies, loads of stuff. I don't know if they got much Peppa Pig. Oh yeah, they've got some Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. It's a Peppa Pig then. Uh, yeah, obviously, if you want a, the big collection of Peppa Pig merch, head over into that main shop. Well, there you go. Right, let's head outside and wrap up the day here at Portons Park. So here we are then, back where we started, what, about eight hours ago, yeah. back at the wonderful sign that sticks out. It's like it's 3D, isn't it? Go on, Charlotte, you had a good day. What have been your highlights? My highlight has been getting on Georgia's dancehall ride. You enjoyed that, didn't I've you? I've just had a really nice day today. It's been lovely. Yeah. Favourite parts of the park? It's just nice to see the area where Lost Kingdom is to be grown from when I last mm. came. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. it's really nice. What's your favourite coaster, would you say, here? I'd probably say... It's a good family coasters. It's quite, quite a hard, hard choice. Because I love Cobra and I love Flight of the Terror, so I can't mm. choose between them. Obviously, Cobra's not got any theme in, not at the moment. Anyway, it might come not in the future, the but yeah, two really good rides. Yeah. And of course, Tornado Springs 2020, like next year. Honestly, really excited for that. And watch this space here on Theme Park Worldwide because we've got some special stuff coming up throughout the year, which is going to be brilliant. Uh, we love Paltons. We're very friendly with the guys here. It's always great to come down. So thank you very much, Paltons, for having you. us. It's been a wonderful day. Me and Charlotte have really enjoyed it. Of course, it's the home of Peppa Pig World but there's so much more here. Um, you know, a lot of these parks are, are known for their IP areas, but obviously here, there's so much more. It's the best family park in the UK. Yeah, right. You know, it's, it's got so many different rides for a variety of age groups. And from what we know about next year's area, they're taking that age group a bit higher now. You know, we're probably talking, what, Peppa Pig's maybe up to what? What sort of age group like? Up to maybe eight, sort yeah. of, maybe? Yeah. Obviously now, obviously Lost Kingdom, sort of like from your eight to like your 12 year old, with what it looks like they're putting in next year, we're sort of pushing up to like 15, 16, you know, they're gradually pushing that age group up here now. And there's so much to see. Get yourself down here, some brilliant family coasters. And the beauty of here as well, is that you don't get the long wait that no, you do yeah. at some of the Merlin parks. Chessington, for example, uh, their ride, which is Cobra, which is the Zampilla Disco. Obviously, Cobra here is the coaster. Um, for that, you can wait a long time, 90 minutes sometimes, whereas here, it's normally walk-on. So, really worth coming down here. We're not just saying it, we love this park. We really love and we don't have any kids or anything, but we have a great time when we come down here. Uh, also, check out the first in a brand new series where we're looking at the construction of Tornado Springs, and that's to be continued throughout the rest of this year, leading up to the opening in just over a year's time, May 2020, here at Paulson's Park. Oh, what, what's that? Oh, oh, Storm, Storm Max, Storm Max is coming. You know what that means we've got to do, don't you? We've got to queue those credits. Quick, the Storm, let's go, let's go. Storm Max, it's coming.